Hey guys, we are back today and I'm going to combine days eight and nine so that we can get caught up. So there's going to be two videos back to back. So I was thinking about what I was going to talk about and in lesson eight or in the eighth day of the devotion, we learned about Luke and how Luke was a physician who acted like a reporter and went around and took accounts of what had happened so that he could share the good news with the world. And that is very important. But I thought that day nine kind of went hand in hand with it. And almost you need day nine in order to be in day eight. So let's talk about that a little bit. Day nine, we talk about compassion. And we talked a little bit about this on the live today and like, you know, do we really show compassion? I know that there's a lot of times where I feel like I I have compassion for people. I, I, I move out of the way in the car or I let someone go in front of me in line. But true compassion, what does that mean? And so I was reading in Matthew 9, 36, it's talking about Jesus when it says, when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. So I want to kind of stress on something like very strongly here. Sometimes when we are in maybe an advanced walk with the Lord, maybe semi-advanced or, you know, whatever it might be. Sometimes it can be easy to lose sight that someone might be in the very beginning or maybe not even in the beginning. And our compassion can lead them to Christ. Our understanding, our love for them. And Jesus said that the greatest two commandments First, to love God with all your heart, mind, body, and soul. And the other is to love your neighbor as yourself. I don't know about you guys, but that's something that's very hard for me to do sometimes. And that's just being honest. There's times where people are really mean and I don't want to love them back. I don't want to just forgive. And what about that? those things that really hurt me? But the thing is that we serve a God that is so mighty and so great. And he's forgiven everything that we have done. He looked the other way when we ask for forgiveness. He forgives. And that is so awesome. And he sent his son to die on the cross for us. And we can't show compassion. To me, lesson nine was very humbling. I felt very grounded with it. And I know that for me, it really put compassion to the forefront of how I I plan on spending the rest of my Christmas and starting off and maybe finishing off, I hopefully finishing off 2023 in that mindset of just showing others compassion and trying not to be judgeful or boastful or proud And to really have humility at the forefront of my thoughts and compassion for others. And like I've said in the notes, we have no idea what somebody else is going through. There's a lot of people that you look at and they look like they have it all together. And most people, and I'm going to tell you just from my experience of talking to people online and stuff, a lot of people are hurting and they're like really, really hurting and they look like they have it all together. And so it is not our job to judge them and think that, well, they don't need compassion. We all need compassion. We were all given compassion and we should give compassion. And so I hope that that stirs something in you and that it makes you feel the way that I felt when I was reading it. And so I'm going to go ahead and let you guys finish watching the rest of this video with some music. I'll have it um, sped up a little so that it won't take so long. And I thank you so much for joining me and being a part of this with me. Um, (laughs) Really, I thank you so much. I am so glad to have each and every one of you in my life and just going on this journey with me. So 
Thank you. And I will see you tomorrow.